The Whirlpool Trophy honors college football players who combine community service with athletic and academic achievement. It's named after Hall of Fame quarterback and Heisman Trophy winner Danny Whirlpool, who led the Florida Gators to their first national championship in 1996. And Danny joins us now to talk about this year's finalist and the finalist for another prestigious award. Of course, we're talking about the Heisman Trophy. So, Danny, it's so good to have you back with us. Good morning. It's always good to be with you, too. Okay, obviously something that's near and dear to your heart. We're talking about a trophy that's named after you, so something I know that you can talk a lot about. Let's start by talking about what makes this trophy uh, so unique, and then maybe if you can if you can talk about the finalists for this year's Warful Trophy this year, Danny. Well, uh, as we know, there's awards for just about every uh, possible thing in college football, and there's a big one tonight, obviously, yep. that's exciting to talk about. But what a lot of people don't realize is a lot of these guys in college are doing tremendous work in their communities and they're inspiring people to do more. And so years ago, a group came to me and said, what if we honored uh, people who did great in their community more than just being a good football player or a good student? And so it was a great, great concept. It fits sort of my mission to inspire greater service in the world. And so we, uh, we've been doing this for 15 years and we had about 100 nominees this year from all across the country. And we have three incredible finalists, uh, one here from, from Georgia, Georgia Southern Shy Works. The quarterback has done tremendous amount of work in his community. Sam Ellinger, the quarterback for Texas as well, has just done some phenomenal work and, and really excited. And then Tikan Saltis from uh, New Mexico uh, has been a, is a finalist as where there, there's Sam and he just finished an incredible career uh, on the field. But but what they've done off the field is tremendous. And Tikan, uh, Grew up on an Indian reservation um, in South Dakota and has just been ferocious in his effort to uh, to serve and care for people in under-resourced uh, places. So, phenomenal group of guys. We'll announce yeah. our winner Thursday night at the Home Depot College Football Award Show. You know, I, I love what you said about about what this award is all about. It's about highlighting the uh, the other incredible parts of these players, not just what we see on the field. And, and I think it's it's so wonderful that you're able to do that. Obviously, something near and dear to your heart, Danny. I know that as the executive director of uh, Desire Street Ministries, this is something that you care a lot about. But I want to go back to the trophy. We kind of showed that in between the nominees for this. What a, a powerful trophy itself oh well yeah the, uh, one time after I threw a touchdown I just was kind of overwhelmed with emotion and just sort of put my hands together in prayer to say thanks and then that's the model that they decided to use for this just sort of just acknowledging that there's more to life than yourself mm -hmm. uh, and there's this idea of caring for others so we're really 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 proud of how this trophy has turned out and but more than that proud of the work that these guys are doing and want to highlight that um, they, they make me want to be better, and I, I hope by telling their stories to the world, more and more people will, will want to do more to make the world better. We could use a little bit yeah. of that right now. Isn't that the truth? Bring in some very positive attention to what they're doing, no doubt. All right, let's talk about the, uh, the Heisman Trophy. This is something that you know a lot about. You have some experience with this, too. What are you thinking? Um, can you hear me? I'm looking like we might be frozen, but uh, I tell you what, it's an exciting night for all these finalists. I remember when I was on that stage and, and uh, just really curious what was going to happen. It's a little bit different virtually now, of course, but, um, you know, I'm a big fan of Kyle Trask uh, for sure, but mm -hmm. there's some really unique guys, and I think, you know, uh, the, the receiver, electric receiver from Alabama, Devontae Smith, is probably the front runner. But I'm just proud of all of them, and they all deserve sure. to be there. Sure, they do. They so do. This is such a, a fun thing every year, and like you mentioned, it's going to be a little different this year. But we'll still be cheering them on. I want to get some more of your thoughts, though, on on Kyle Trask's season with the with the Gators this year. What's your take? Man, um, it's been so fun watching him. Not just as a quarterback, he he is phenomenally talented. His, his decision making, anticipation, accuracy, but his story is is so inspiring. You know, he didn't even really play in high school. He wasn't recruited much. He's a, a kind of a backup, but he was very loyal to his program. He's been a great teammate. He sort of represents some of those values that you hope your kids get. And so he's been a, a great example. I talked to my kids about him and others, and I'm just really, really happy for him. He really deserves to be a finalist and uh, hope him good luck tonight and then in the rest of his career as well. Danny Worfel live with us this morning. Danny, thank you so much for hanging. It's so good to see you and uh, looking forward to getting to hear who the big winner is of the Worfel Trophy. Yeah. We yes, ma'am. Thank you. God bless you. And the 2020 Worfel Trophy winner will be announced during the Home Depot College Football Awards Thursday night on ESPN.